Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to take the governor out of your Predator 212cc engine, which is what I have, are your Honda GX200 R clone engines. So, what you need is a very small screwdriver. I'm using this as an example, because uh, just for the camera see, I actually use this one to take mine out. I just set it back in there, the governor gear. And uh, so what you need to do is you're going to have this thing in here, which is the arm, and it's going to be up through this hole right here and there's going to be a little pin on it's not going to be like that like it should not look like that when it comes from the factory it's just going to be like that i hope and uh so there's going to be a little pin on here holding it in and uh and your throttle will be attached for it but uh you're going to want to take all that off and get the the top plate that arc sells because that's a lot way more easier to attach the throttle you just have this thing in it this rotates and you'll see how it works in my full build video when you watch that if you do and uh, so you're gonna take that out and then you still got to get rid of that gear because if it breaks which it will at high rpms you gotta I'll just take mine out and show you on the table on the bench so uh, what you gotta do is you're gonna see it's gonna I don't want to focus any camera. There we go. It's going to be on the pin. It'll look something like a... I was looking through the camera. Like that. And uh, you think it'll just be able to slide it off. But you got to get a, this little pin right here out first. So that's going to be resting right... It's going to be right here. Around it. And so how you get that off is... Uh, you're going to want to take a very small screwdriver like I have and you're gonna put it opposite of the opening and it won't, yours won't be that stretched out and you're gonna put it, it's magnetic, right in between that and the, the shaft and you probably won't be able to do it by hand but if, you're, if your screwdriver's small enough you will but you might end up bending it, I did on a different one. You're gonna tap it with the hammer to get it wedged in between then you're gonna pry it like that and you should be able to pull that straight out and once you do that there's gonna be a, a couple of, uh, washers you might want to you want to get all those out they're spaced everywhere between there so it's gonna be on there like that and you're gonna reach in there with the screwdriver make sure you have the the clip turned so you can get it and you're gonna pry it and then get that out a lot of people say to hit it with a hammer but you could uh, break the crankcase and that's how People say they get this out, but I don't want to risk it because, uh, yeah, that's the thinnest part of the case right there. And so then you're going to wonder, we have that giant hole going through the engine block. And so how you plug that, so I went to the hardware store and I got a bolt and a nut. I brought the block with me to, uh, to just to be able to do this. And uh, you're going to want one that fits in there and doesn't wiggle around. And then you're going to need a locking nut and some uh, Loctite. I guess you don't need this if you have the locking nut, but uh, I would get it. And preferably the red. Red is like for permanent stuff that you don't want to do. And this takes, it says, 50 foot-pounds to remove. Put some on the bolt right where the uh, nut's going to be. And uh, it'll work its way around through the thread so you don't have to worry about uh, going all the way through. Put it up through here and push it up. Get your uh, lock nut. Where did it go? There it is. Put that on there. And make sure you have a, uh, that's why I didn't say you gotta have a rubber washer right here going around it. So there's final that fits around the bolt and doesn't leave a space. Yeah. Alright, so I just got done uh, tightening that down. And so that's it. Oh, thank you. 